हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दी जून 2019 लीनियर एल्जेब्रा क्वेश्चन वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन विच इज रिलेटेड टू द लीनियर एल्जेब्रा आस्क द पार्ट बी ऑफ दिस पेपर वी विल डिस्क्राइब ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स सो दैट यू कैन सॉल्व द ईच क्वेश्चन विद इन अ वन टू टू मिनट्स आर माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर वर्किंग द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थापर इंस्टीट्यूट यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो दिस लिंक फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस प्रीवियस वीडियो विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स so let's start with the question number uh, 28 which is related to the part b so it means it can it has only the one correct answer what is that if pa represents the characteristics for polynomial of the matrix a then the which of the following is a constant that is here clearly says that the options are there a is my 2 cross 2 then what is the characteristics polynomial of this this is nothing but my here minus trace of a plus determinant of a that is my characteristics equation and what is the characteristics equation of the a inverse is that is again same for this but here the inverse trace will be the in a inverse and plus determinant of this a inverse that is only true now look about that which of the following is constant so when the when the difference what is the difference is this will be cancel out when it will be constant the constant only when if you consider this as in terms of the x so that you may able to recognize this easily the constant only when the coefficient of here and the coefficient of here are equal that's a very simple task so this is the condition you can check about this option what is that trace of this if you consider any of the a b c and d what is the trace of this that is nothing but here what is the a inverse if this is my a what is the a inverse this is d a and what is the over this so i can write this as d plus a of over determinant of a because we all know that are joint divided by this so when they are equal they are equal only when the determinant of a is 1 so you can see whether this is a 12 minus 6 not 1 9 minus 8 this is 9 minus 8 is 1 so that is the right answer this is 12 minus 6 not 1 8 minus 9 is a minus 1 it is not right answer so the right answer is my see that's a simple logic behind it. look about this one which of the following is diagonal bell so we all knows that if any of the matrix has eigen value say lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and so on if all the eigen values are distinct then we can say they are diagonal bell number 1 number 2 is when the arithmetic when the algebraic multiplicity of the eigen value is same as that of the geometric multiplicity of this then we can say it's a diagonal bell. so now how you can find that so firstly we can start with the 2 cross 2 you can see it's a 1 cross 1 so what are the what are the eigen value are there you can say the sum of the eigen values are my 2 the product will be 0 so it clearly says that the eigen values are my 0 and 2 both are distinct so it's my diagonal but we are needing not so this is my correct state so this option is cancel out again from here this is the trace is my 5 determinant is 4 plus 2 6 clearly says that the eigen values are my 2 and 3 which are distinct so that this is not the false statement look for the first option eigen values are my 2 2 and 3 so since 3 is a unique number there is no need to think about that we look about here we can start with a minus of 2y because it consists of more than 2 so what is the a minus 2 so it will be my 0 0 1 it will be my 0 it's my 1 it's a 0 0 0 0 now what is the rank of this so rank of this matrix is my what is the rank of this matrix is my 2 but the rank of this uh, rank of this matrix is 2 so what is the meaning of that if you find the solution of this so if i consider this as x y z what is the eigen vector of this x can have any value y is my 0 and z is my 0 so what is the solution space is 1 0 0 so it means what is the meaning of that the, the algebraic city multiplicity of 2 is my what is that this is my 2 what is the geometric multiplicity is rank that is a n minus rank of a minus 2y so that is a 3 what is the rank is my 2 that is a my 1 so algebraic multiplicity and geometrics are not equal so it means they are not diagonal if you look about here the eigen values are my 2 3 and 3 if you start from the a minus 3i what is the a minus 3i it's minus 1 1 0 it's my 0 0 0 0 0 so clearly say that the rank is my 1 so once the rank is 1 3 minus 1 is 
geometric multiplicity is my 2 algebraic multiplicity is also 2 so this is diagonal this is here this is here but this is not diagonal so the right answer is my 1 look at the another one is there uh, mapping is there from P, P2 to the P3 and which is defined like of this that is the integration f dt plus f dash then you have to find the matrix t with respect to the basis i called as the basis b1 called as the basis b2 this is your target okay now clearly says that what is that this is the elements of the b2 these are the elements of the b1 what is the cardinality of this this is my 3 this is my 4 so definitely this matrix is my 4 cross 3 so this option cancel out this option cancel out straightforward there is no need to think about that now we can start from the b1 so if i take first function is my 1 the first element of the basis if you substitute here what is that integration of the 1 what is that integration of the 1 is my x plus what is the derivative is my 1 now you have to write this element in terms of this the constant is my 1 x x is my 1 uh, sorry f is my 1 so the derivative is my 0 so what is the answer of this is you have to write this L axis that is a 0 second option is 1 this is a 0 0 the both options are there now if you look about the second option the second element is my x if you substitute here it the integration of the f plus derivative of this so what is the answer of this this is my x square upon 2 plus 1 so the constant is my 1 coefficient of the x is my 0 coefficient of the x square is my half coefficient of the x cube is my 0 so 1 0 half 1 that is 1 0 half 1 this is not true so the right answer is my here correct answer is only 2 so make sure that this is the one of the simplest way you can discard the options how you find the rank of this matrix so rank is my 2 3 4 5 that's a very simple again if you see if you subtract them here what will happen this will be a 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this will becomes my 1 now if you subtract here then this element will be my 0 0 0 1 1 the last elements are my here now if you subtract this elements r3 minus r2 that's a 0 it's a 0 it's a 1 it's a 1 it's a 1 now if you subtract the r2 minus r1 it's a 0 1 1 1 the first element is my same now what is that you clearly says that this is my triangular matrix so what is the meaning of that determinant is non-zero so determinant of order 5 cross 5 is non-zero rank is my 5 is the, that's a fourth is my correct option of this look what the another one is there so uh, v is the vector space over this w is the subspace which is spanned by here what is the dimension so what is the meaning of that dimension dimension is nothing but my l line but here this is a function how you check the li in terms of function do you have any idea how you can check the function i will tell you a shortcut fix you can start with the own scheme so if you consider the three function f1 f2 f3 you can take the derivatives you can take the derivatives and you can take the second derivative if this value is non zero for at least one x then it means it is a li once it's a li so the number of the elements in the li is called as the dimensions so now you can check about that so what is that this is nothing but my sin x this is my cos x this is my tan x now you can take the derivative so it is my cos x this is my minus sin x tan is my nothing secant square x now this is my minus sin x this is my minus cos x it is my two secant x tan x now if i consider any point at say x is 0 for example firstly what is that sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 tan 0 0 cos 0 1 sin 0 0 secant 0 1 sin 0 0 cos 0 minus 1 this is tan 0 0 what is the determinant of this so you can see minus 1 0 minus 0 is 0 but it is at least 1 so we can find another another pair we can take pi by 3 but it will take the root so best is that we can take x is my pi by 4 what is the answer of this when you take x is pi by 4 it is 1 by root 2 it is 1 by root 2 it is minus 1 by root 2 this is 1 by root 2 
माइनस वन बाई रूट टू माइनस वन बाय रूट टू टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज़ वन सेकेंड फोर्टी फाइव इज़ रूट टू रूट टू स्केयर इज टू टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज़ वन दिस इज माई रूट टू सो इट विल बी माई टू रूट टू फाइन ना वट इज दैट इफ यू टेक आर थ्री प्लस आर वन सो दिस लाइन दिस लाइन विल बी माई जीरो दिस लाइन विल बी जीरो इट विल बी माई टू रूट टू प्लस वन नाउ इफ यू कंसिडर दिस माइनस दिस सो द सेकेंड लाइन विल बी माई सो द फर्स्ट लाइन विल बी माई हेयर दिस जीरो इट इज माई माइनस ऑफ रूट टू इट इज वन थर्ड लाइन विल बी माई हेयर यू कैन सी दैट इट अगेन इट इज अ लोअर ट्रेंगुलर मेट्रिक्स द डिटर्मिनेट इज माई नॉन जीरो सो वंस इट इज अ नॉन जीरो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इट हैज एल आई सो वट इज द डायमेंशन ऑफ दिस दिस आर थ्री सो द राइट आंसर इज माई थर्ड इज द करेक्ट Look at the another one is there. So v is a vector space of degree at the most two. It means it will be my a plus b x plus c x square. This is my polynomial considered as f, and the inner product is defined here. F and v belong to this. W is spanned by one minus t square and one plus t square. That's fine. W is my orthogonal complement. What is the meaning of the orthogonal complement of W? If I consider any of the elements in the orthogonal complements, then the inner product of this with the elements of this W should be zero. That is, the inner product should be zero. Now there is no need to solve any of the problem. What is the H? So assume that H is my even function. What is that? H is my even function. It can be of the form of the t square. So let's start with this one. That is, t square of span span of W say one minus. T square. We will check whether it's a zero or not. So it's a t square one minus of here. What is that? This is the integration of the t cube by three minus four means five upon five. So can the limit will be a zero? It can never be zero. It means it's a cancel. What will happen if a odd function? So what will happen if I consider this odd is? I consider as a small t. This is my odd function. So now if we consider this as again t of one minus t square. Of d t, what will happen? Of zero to one, that is nothing but my t square upon two minus four upon four over zero to one. Again, you can see this is a non-zero, so it means it is not orthogonal. It is cancel out. Can h zero be a zero? Again, it is not true because h can be any of the things. So you can say okay, h zero in these two example it is a zero, but you can see if you consider any of the polynomial which is of this form. What is the h of zero in this case? If I consider this as h, it is a a, but it can never be a. Again, you can think about this as a t square plus one. This is a non-zero. It means this option is cancel out. F of h of t as a zero real root clearly says that because it's orthogonal, it's a dot product is zero. It's a, of this elements f comma g is a degree of two. It clearly has the because it clearly has the real root. So the correct answer is my third is the correct option for this. So there is no need to solve any of this. You have to simply think about the counter examples are here. That's all about the differential equation of the part B. We can see about the more lectures in our next videos. Till then, you can simply follow the playlist CSM Net channel name Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the various previous year videos related to the 17 to 20 all questions, CSM Net December 20, ordinary differential equation, probability inner product space sequence series, as well as. of the uh, 2019 questions are there all you can find in my channel name this dr harish kar i hope you can simply like share and comment this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning